So first of all, I wanted to give my condolences to uh, those that were hurt in this uh, unfortunate accident that happened yesterday. And also to put out a plug to your uh, local law enforcement, uh, the airport authority, first responders that uh, have been tremendous to our team and also uh, for the tremendous job that they did yesterday in, in getting uh, the passengers uh, to safety. I'm sure that you all understand we had a fire. So, so what we do is we look at the airplane and, and try to figure out how that airplane uh, caught fire. I know there's been a lot of people uh, saying that fuel was coming from the airplane. Well, they saw a fluid coming from the airplane. We don't know at this point if it was fuel or not. So that's one of the things that we look at. So again, we're here for safety. We're not here to point fingers. We're here to figure out what happened. And it's from tragedies like this particular one that we learn lots of information to make flying safer for the public. So the question was, do I know what sparked the flame? And the answer at this point, no. What, is there, what have you been able to see when you look at the aircraft? Does it tell you anything? So I, the question was, what did I see uh, at the aircraft? So I went out uh, earlier. Uh, of course, the left engine is fire damaged. Uh, the left wing is fire damaged. One interesting thing is that going inside the cabin, you can't tell there was a fire inside. So there's not soot damage, there's not fire damage or anything inside the cabin. And uh, again, through things like this, we learn things to make flying safer for all of us.